Hello everyone, go to abctutorial.com, search your expected search, go to the detail of your post, comment from the expected post in comment box. The most exciting thing is community. Go to community, then post your expected wish like asking anything or search job or search entry or tutorial request. So keep subscribe ABC Tutorial YouTube or abctutorial.com. Stay with us. My 15th number video sp.net e-commerce so see uh, we already did about till that i mean check out so i will start today from check out so we will make a uh, another page which is check out detail so uh, from this check out page actually we will do quantity increase or decrease yes we will make another page called check out detail just follow me Add your page here. Run your project. This is our checkout page. And we will copy this uh, page and uh, actually uh, uh, our checkout detail page using uh, admin layout so we will replace this layout to our main layout so now see what happened yeah our main layout is working for checkout detail and now we will copy paste checkout code checkout uh, the page code to checkout detail and then we will work on it so let's see how i we i'm marking missing this uh, model home so we will add it to check out detail page See there is no product so we will add product to our card. So 
you can increase or decrease your quantity from checkout page actually this is our purpose to uh, keep this checkout page then uh, after uh, increasing or decreasing quantity when we will click this checkout button it will redirect to checkout detail page so we are writing the code for this redirection So we will put uh, price after product name see what happened Uh, actually we did a mistake we uh, put this price into checkout page but it will be in checkout detail page so uh, write it in checkout detail page so now let's see price will show here yeah price is showing and see quantity one quantity two and uh, price is showing here so also we will put here uh, the line total right so line total mean you are uh, going to buy one samsung i mean nokia phone two quantity that means two quantity go uh, uh, multiply with your product price so let's see how i'm working for it i'm making line total see line total is appearing nokia 6 one quantity 6000 and um, another is 500 per piece and uh, uh, quantity is 2 that means 1000 yeah now it's working and, and uh, uh, it was uh, two quantities samsung and 500 per piece and 1000 and 
okay one uh, six is one quantity and price is six thousand so like totally six thousand so we never uh, we no need this uh, add button it's only for checkout so remove it see uh, how it's looking so everything is okay so our now our expectation is to uh, we already create line total but we need total I mean uh, total amount for this all product so see how I'm making this So we define total uh, before for uh, chill loop and uh, every time inside the for each loop we will assign this total equal total plus line total. and put this total variable in your uh, cell see total is coming because uh, 6000 and uh, it should not be inside the forage loop it should be outside of forage loop so see 6000 and 1000 is 7000 in last amount we we looking here the 7000 is showing so 7000 right so but it should be uh, uh, right side so 6000 1000 7000 we are going to make it right side See here is the uh, this seven thousand is left side, so our expectation is it should be right side. And see how it's uh, possible. Call uh, call span four because here is four cell, and 
first C this is uh, yeah C but it should be right side so make it right class text align this is bootstrap class so it takes to right Our session already out, so we will select product again. You can increase your session time, so it's up to you. I will show you in, in last of this series. So click on check out and see 6000 and uh, 90,000. I mean, 45,000 parties to quantity that means 90,000 and 96,000 total amount so uh, it's the right side so make a title see total 90,000 so I can make it bold So now see it's looking very nice and uh, this is uh, looking like uh, invoice so <coughs> uh, we will change the button name so But after this stage, we will do the uh, payment getter. So we can write it uh, payment. So we have few step. One is checkout. One is checkout detail. And after checkout detail, I mean, uh, this is actually checkout detail mean invoice, right? So after this, we will go payment. So our session is already out so we will select again the product check out yeah this is uh, check out this is invoice and payment after clicking this we will um, go to another page called payment and this is our payment gateway actually we will work on it in next video so I hope guys you enjoy this video and you learn more things from my video in my channel.